Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Dollar Store G.I. Joe line Snake Eyes, the Ninja Commando figure. <clears throat> now get a good look at him here in the packaging. As I've already said in my reviews, just found these guys, and I'm um, actually a fairly early retail spotting of these. I'm guessing they're, you know, getting out there pretty quickly. Of course, Snake Eyes comes with his sword and a base, and nothing else it would appear. On the back of the packaging here, just the same old read-up about G.I. Joe, the other six figures that made the um, initial dollar store launch. So, um, very, very little to say about the packaging. Let's open him up. And here we have Snake Eyes out of packaging. Now, very nice looking figure, and much like Storm Shadow, a look that's been requested for quite some time, more based off his um, classic animation from the cartoons. Um, of course, a nameless G.I. Joe base. But I've got a ton of Snake Eyes if I wanted to swap this guy out and, you know, swap this up to one of the re baseless retaliation figures. His only accessory is his sword, which, um, he does have a... Well, no, his holster's closed for a second. I thought it might be open. Um, but a very nice-looking figure. Let's actually get the heck back on for half a second. Um, a lot of the, um, dollar store brand Joes didn't get a whole lot of paint. But this guy definitely didn't suffer from that. Um, a lot of nice blue, white, and red. Well, I guess that's more of a gray than a white. But yeah, I'm definitely digging the look of this guy. Um, much like Storm Shadow, there is no sheath. However, there's a peg on the back, so if you had a spare sheath, you could easily, easily peg it on. As far as his articulation, he does up and down the head, a full 360. Arms are on a ball joint. Do a full 360, go out. Bend and spin at the elbow. Spin at the wrist. Although, it appears his wrists are not hinged. That's unfortunate. Um... Legs go forward, back, and out. Double joint at the knee and have an ankle joint. So, um, super nice articulation on this snake, guys. Let's actually get him back on his base. Yeah, um, this is actually a fairly early sighting. Um, I've only just seen him pop up on his tank yesterday at the time I'm making this video. And um, I think that with retaliation, you know, cutting their bases out, cutting their line down to such limited articulation, this line is definitely going to be a collector's, you know, safe haven in these dark collecting times. Not to say the retaliation's a bad line. They've made some sweet ninjas, but you know, this is more along the lines of the twenty fifth anniversary. Anyways, six bucks a piece. I highly recommend rushing out and trying to find these guys because they're definitely worth having. And that being said, this is J Train nine ninety seven and I'll see you soon, YouTube.